Our work in the Star Cave began uh, with the Academy of Neuroscience for Architecture and the bringing together of scientists and architects from across the country who realized that there was a great deal of information that could be harnessed by mapping human performance within an immersive architectural environment before the first brick was laid. So not relying on post-occupancy evaluations, that's after the building has already been created and millions or billions of dollars have been spent. And so we began modeling architectural environments, bringing them into the cave, and then synchronously mapping both human behavior as they moved through the environment in real time and also their brain responses. So we began with a 256 electrode array that looked at EEG as people were navigating and finding their way through a model of CalIT2 itself and looked for indications that the brain was either in a state of being lost or knowing where people were going. As a result of collaborations across multiple departments and divisions at University of California, San Diego, we were able to track 256 electrodes of EEG with movement through a virtual environment and their responses to this condition. Following that, we realized that we needed more flexibility in how we change the model of the building itself. And so, working with the visualization team here at CalIT2, we created some software called CaveCAD that enables us in real time to change the geometries of the space. And with a CSRO grant, we introduced Sonic Cave so that we can both see and hear the consequences of design as we as designers are immersed in this environment or as users are immersed and as the team together decides how the environment has to be changed.